Hi, I'm Shrija Bhattacharya. I'm from Bangalore, India, and I'm studying my Master's in International Journalism from Sydney. I chose to do my Master's in International Journalism at City University of London because uh, when I did my research about the different universities and the courses, I found out that City had the most suitable modules that I was looking for. Also, I found out that uh, City was ranked number one in the Guardian's ranking for journalism schools in the UK. So I knew that studying in City would like give me the opportunities that probably other universities wouldn't, especially with regard to journalism. What I like the most about journalism is the fact that I get to tell stories and they're all based on truth and um, I get to um, share with the world things and information that will help, you know, educate people. Uh, That's the most important uh, bit, I think, that drives me uh, in this field and how I became interested in it. Well, I've always been the kind of um, kid who used to read newspapers every morning and I loved reading them. I loved the way they were written. And yeah, I think I just got interested in in the whole idea of, of news and like the production of news. Before coming to uni to pursue my master's in international journalism, I actually did my undergrad uh, degree in journalism as well. In fact, it was a triple major degree in history, journalism and travel and tourism. And I immediately knew that journalism was something that I wanted to do in the future. But uh, as soon as I graduated, I got this marketing job. It paid well, it seemed really lucrative. So I got into it. So I graduated in 2021 and I worked in marketing for like a year and eventually realized that I wasn't cut out for marketing, but I'd also picked up like a lot of skills um, that I knew I could use uh, to get back into journalism, especially in the digital um, journalism sphere of things. So yeah, and as soon as um, that realization hit me, I knew I wanted to get back into journalism and I thought I should pursue my master's and I knew that city would be the best place uh, to start. The best thing about being an international student in London is the fact that all these big touristy places that you grow up watching in movies and in on your on your television is right outside your doorstep. Like talk about the Big Ben, the the Buckingham Palace, the London Eye, they're all like near the university, just a bus ride away, and that's amazing. Um, the other thing uh, I think about city itself is the fact that I felt welcome as soon as I came in. The Freshers Week was a great place to make friends and find people uh, that are also looking for friends, actually. And my course itself is very diverse and it helps you learn from people who've had various different experiences in life. Um, And that's the best thing about being an international student and studying in London where uh, You get to meet people from different countries and who've had different experiences. It's amazing. My favorite time at City so far would have to be the bus ride during the Freshers' um, Fair. So there was this bus tour organized for us, especially the international students, where we got to look at all these big, uh, tourist spots of London. We went across the London Bridge, we saw the Buckingham Palace, we saw the London Eye. So it was a beautiful bus ride, a bus filled with international students. I made a lot of friends on that bus ride with whom I'm still in contact with. So that was my favorite memory of City. My favorite module, that's a difficult question because I kind of like all the modules but I would say podcasting Uh, that was a module that was a specialism that I took up in my term one and I absolutely loved it because it's such a creative module you you get to um, you get to learn about 
how you sh- you can develop a podcast how you pitch a podcast how you make a trailer for the podcast how you write the description for the podcast and at the end the submission is you pitch a podcast and you submit a podcast and i got to work with classmates as a team and i think that was the best experience um so that's my favorite module podcasting <music> Outside my course, um, I I think uh, I'm usually very busy with my course. But other than that, I really like going out to the pub with my friends. Um, I'm also I've also volunteered with the Ukrainian English speaking club. So our university has partnered with a Ukrainian university where uh, we run an English speaking club. So the Ukrainian students can practice their English. It's a very rewarding uh, time for me, especially. Uh, on the Zoom call when we are discussing about student life, our favorite movies and other things. Uh, it's great. The course has had a big impact on me, personally and professionally. Personally, I think I'm more confident in approaching people to talk to them because journalism actually is a kind of field where you have to be quite confident in talking to people. Uh, I'm more confident talking in front of the camera, uh, so that's another achievement. The other thing, uh, I think professionally, uh, it has made me much stronger as well. I've learned a lot of skills. Uh, earlier, I wasn't as confident in shooting, filming my own stuff, and also kind of editing uh, videos and audio. And um, I've honed those skills here, so that's amazing. I think um, just not journalism, but it. it holistically develops you into being better uh, not just professionally but also individually my current plans for the future is to get into a journalism job i really want to work in the lifestyle journalism side of things and how has uh, city equip me in it well there is a lifestyle specialism specifically that really helped me understand this field um, also city has given me the opportunity to have multiple backups because i've taken different specialisms we get to learn like a little of everything and um, even the news days that we have Uh, for our journalism courses where we we go live at 3 p.m. we are working on news programs the entire day it's really like a newsroom um and it's it helps a lot it really gives you a taste of how a professional journalist might work in a day i think one thing that every one says is that if you are graduating out of city it's it's already giving you an upper hand compared to every other um journalist who's just starting out in the field because uh, it has a big name in the industry people trust that journalists coming out of city university of london are equipped with the skills that the industry needs and that's why i'm so excited about it because i want to go out there and prove to them that i have the skills that it takes to be a big successful journalist who can contribute to the organization so yeah one key advice that i would like to give to an aspiring master student is that have fun just as much as you're focusing on your studies because uh, it might feel like you're really busy with your coursework but at the same time you need to have fun go out with friends go out for a pint you know have fun um and just uh be focused um it's a year long course but at the same time you're going to make friends who are going to last you a lifetime so make sure you spend some time with them while you're working on your coursework <laughs>